Hello, this is Big Boss Rescue Chief of Humane Emergency Animal Rescue. Welcome to our series, Animal Rescue Postmortem, where we analyze the good, the bad, and the ugly of animal rescues throughout the world. If you only knew what was going on behind the scenes here, <laughs> oh my goodness, what, what calamity and chaos. This is volume number six, video number 14. We have a elk trapped in in a bog I don't know what to call this here but it looks like it I'll just let the video play out I'll replay it if I need to you can see that it's it's rear end is deep into this this mud hole liquefied something here and there's plenty of water in it but um, you know with this kind of rescue remember this is wildlife so you can see what happens here. This animal is probably only thinking one thing. These are predators. They're I'm trapped, and now they're just going to eat me alive. Is is I'm I'm guessing that's probably what it thinks. And so it will defend itself. It's fight or flight. You can see that's what that was an aggressive move to try and defend itself. It, it's going to fight even when it's in a trap situation like this to try and survive. Um, so this is very dangerous. You can see these these antlers up here. Those can rip rip you apart, <laughs> rip you to tatters. So that uh, you know you got to remember this could cause an injury that can kill you. So you got to be careful. My first choice would be to do chemical immobilization on this and do a forward uh, sling assist. Let's see if we can get this footage so that. without their stupid commentary being in the way. So, all right. <coughs> Excuse me. We've got the legs down here, all right? So we've got the front legs. We're going to take a sling and we're going to wrap it over the wrap it over the back here, bring the two free ends of the sling up here towards the head, pull the those loops however far away it is. I like to have long slings so you can get away from these working parts of the animal here. And then, um, if the animal's going to be conscious, let's say you don't have access to chemical immobilization, and you're able to use boat hooks, pike poles, or whatever to get that sling in place here, that forward sling, sling in, in place. You, you're going to do that, and then, because the animal's conscious, and it may run off, make sure that you clip like a piece of paracord or a tether in general onto one of the free ends of the sling so that as the, as this elk starts to go off you can pull the sling off of it as it moves away from you okay that way you don't lose your sling or you know you have to follow it 10 miles before it fi finally just falls off on its own and then if we do chemical immobilization we're going to put the sling in the exact same space there the exact same way except I'm going to I'm going to do I'm going to wait till it's unconscious and then and then pull it out and then add the reversal agent to it and and then wait for it to recover fully and then it's on its way happily ever after right i mean there's like really a couple options that i think would work really really good in this situation here but I, my first choice would be chemical immobilization because of the danger and, and I don't, i'm not going to have to worry about this uh fighting and, and, and trying to save itself. Now, one thing I want to do take take issue with here, they're using paracord and it's, I don't know how, I, I guess they probably tied a, a noose or something so that this was like a slip knot so that they got this draped over the, the antler and now it's cinched up on there. How are they going to get that off? In this video, we don't see that happening. And so I'm, I'm assuming that it gets left onto there. That, that has the potential to create a whole new set of problems. It could get entangled in its legs. It could get caught up in something out in the woods and, and, and make it so that it can't leave that location, which is just as bad as being in the water. Um, and then it could also choke itself to death, get that cord wrapped around its neck so that it can't breathe or get it wrapped around its face so that it can't eat. There's a lot of a lot of different situations, so this is not a good choice here. All right, 
I know that they're improvising and they don't have the equipment and experience. But remember, this is a post-mortem. This is all about learning here, okay? So that's what we want to do. I think I pretty much got that covered. Go to our website. Sign up for our email newsletter. We'll never spam your inbox or sell your email. Please consider making a donation. If you need to contact us, use the contact form. <laughs> the contact form there on our website. Please subscribe to our videos. It really means a lot to us. More importantly than the subscription is like and share the videos on your social media or wherever. And when you do that, it creates, uh, it, it, it generates interest on the channel. It helps grow the channel and helps support our mission by default there. What else? Leave a comment down below. And then also, uh, don't forget, if you have a video suggestion, leave a brief description and a link in uh, the comments. Thank you for the love and support that you give us. We hope that you get all of that back. All right, we're going to, I didn't write these guys. I guess I should write these guys. I'm going to give them a four stars because they left that cord on there with no way to get it off there. But happily ever after, right? Mission success. They got them out of there. But they left something, as far as I know, was what I see in the video. They left that cord on there. Okay. That's it.